Hello, my name is Mara. I'm the owner here at Social Status. And today I want to talk to you about what to post on social media right now. Like I've just been, I've worked with yoga studios all around the world and I'm getting the same question over and over again. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Social Status works with yoga and wellness businesses and I help you guys thrive and create engaging content on social media through social media management and Facebook ads. So like I was saying, I've had so many questions lately about what to post on social media right now. Like what's performing? Um, what should I be posting? So number one thing, always share with your community what you're doing. Um, and especially right now, like people are just unsure what's happening and especially with in-studio classes. So number one suggestion, if you are offering in-studio classes, show people what it looks like. And I'm not meaning like, this is how you walk in the studio and you have to go here and pick up this and you have to wear a mask and do all of this and yada, yada, yada. You don't need that. Everybody sees it everywhere. They already know that there's going to be strict protocols. They already know that there's going to be different rules. So just show them casually what it looks like. So just literally have either one of your teachers or a student that you're really friendly with go through the process of checking in and going to their mat in their class. And then also take pictures of what it actually looks like in a class when it's full or when there are students in it and then of the teacher wearing a mask or whatever, but don't make it about we're following protocols, we're doing this and this and this because people don't wanna hear that because they hear it from everywhere. They wanna know that you're still the same awesome studio that's gonna welcome them back with open arms. And you and like it's just kind of said in that that you are following that protocol because you've already probably sent out an email or two and you do have those FAQs and things on your website anyways, if they want to reference it and get an idea of what you are doing, they have the tools to get that information from you. So just sharing what the experience looks like in a positive way is the number one thing that I would suggest for you to post on social media right now. And number two, if you're offering outdoor classes, this is so cool and it's summertime and people want to be outside, but again, they're a little bit unsure of it. So if you show them what it actually looks like, how fun it is, how beautiful the scenery is, um, how many people are there, how big of a space it is, there's so much room for social distancing, um, just show them exactly what they're missing out on and show them what they can experience and that will create that little bit of FOMO and then you'll get more students in your outdoor classes if they actually know what it looks like and can see how awesome it is. And then number three, if you're doing virtual classes only, again, show people what it looks like. Show them, take a, take a little video with your phone of your camera setup, your computer setup, all the faces on Zoom. Um, just show them like, this is our awesome community we're all virtual, we're all rocking it, we're all working hard, things like that. And then also, people are a little unsure what a, um, what a home practice can look like. So take a quick picture of your home setup, um, your mat, your yoga, your towel, your water bottle, all of that. And then even if you have a little teeny tiny space, because people think that they need a quiet space, they need a big, big open area to do yoga and they need a heater, like, no, just demystify it. Make it super simple. This is what you need. You need a space big enough for your mat and your body and that's it. And all you need is water. If your family's bothering you, get them to join you. Um, so I hope this has helped. If you guys have any questions at all about social media or Facebook ads or what you should be doing right now, um, feel free to comment down below. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching.